Neural Capture is Quad Cortex's flagship feature. Built using our proprietary biomimetic AI, it can learn and replicate the sonic characteristics of any physical amplifier, cabinet, and overdrive pedal with unprecedented accuracy. First off, to use a Neural Capture, just add a new block to the grid and select Neural Capture from the Device Categories list. When using the factory captures, you should also add a cabinet block afterwards. Any Neural Capture that does not need a cab sim will have plus cab in the name. To create a new Neural Capture, go to the main menu and tap New Neural Capture. If you are capturing an amplifier, you need to be able to mic up a cabinet or use an amplifier with a load box or DI out. If you are capturing an overdrive pedal, be aware that fuzz pedals are currently not supported. No special type of microphone is needed, but be aware that Neural Capture is a global snapshot of a real device setup, and that includes the microphone used and its placement as well. Furthermore, Neural Capture does not allow you to control the settings of the device you are capturing after you have made the capture. It is a snapshot of the device you capture in the state you capture it in. When you start creating a neural capture, you are presented with a routing diagram and a warning. Pay close attention to both of these. First, we plug our guitar into return one input instead of the regular input and press next. Next, we connect our headphones to monitor. You can also use out one and two, which in this case I have feeding to my setup here so you guys can hear the audio. Next, we run a cable from the capture out port to the input of our target device, in this case, an overdrive pedal. Finally, we connect the output of the device to in one on the quad cortex. If you are miking up a cabinet, you would connect the microphone to in one as well. Again, a warning is shown about potential damage to your devices. Make sure you pay attention to this. When everything is set up, we confirm the routing is correct and press confirm. Note that you can always skip the diagram by pressing the button at the top. At this point, we should be getting a signal from our target device so we can monitor the sound we're getting for the capture. We're also given some level controls on the screen and the meters will show a signal when we play. If you experience any noise caused by ground loops in your setup, you can enable the ground lift to help mitigate this. Make sure you set the type switch appropriately. Use instrument if you are using a TS cable or mic if you are using an XLR cable. Enable phantom power if you are using a microphone that requires it. First, set your instrument level. Play a few chords, hitting the strings quite hard, and set your instrument level as high as you can without clipping the input. Around minus 10 dBs is a good goal. Next, we need to set the input level of the target device. Again, you want to set this as high as possible without clipping the input. You can use the auto set button and play until the level stops changing to automatically set this. Once everything is set up correctly, you can start the capture process. If you are capturing a pedal, this process will be silent. If you're capturing an amp plugged into a cabinet, you're gonna hear a bunch of crazy sounds. This is normal. Neural Capture will work through a few different stages and overall the process should take a few minutes. At the sanity check stage, your capture will fail if it has not been set up correctly. If this happens, follow the on-screen instructions and adjust the input levels if necessary. When the capture is complete, you can switch between the capture and the target device either by pressing the buttons or pressing or rotating foot switch A. You can increase your headphone level with foot switch B. If you're happy with your capture, you can go ahead and save it. If you want to adjust the setup and try again, just hit start from scratch. If you want to compare your capture to your target device after you've created it, for example, if you want to use them both in a signal chain, download the capture AB template preset from the Neural DSP account on Cortex Cloud. Change the capture to the one you've just created and switch between scenes A and B to compare. 